10 talents AEW completely wasted. Number 10, Ethan Page. Ethan Page signed a three-year deal with AEW in 2021, and on the surface, Page should have been a huge star for the company. Page was and remains insanely charismatic, his in-ring work is excellent, and he has a recognizable brand that goes beyond AEW. Page has a hit YouTube channel, and this is similar to Zack Ryder, allowing fans to fully connect with Page, as it was rampant demand to see him featured in a prominent role on AEW TV. Unfortunately, AEW never committed to presenting Page as a top star, as he would have storylines that went absolutely nowhere, and he was in a place in an extended yet lifeless storyline on TV with Matt Hardy, and fans knew the writing was on the wall. Page departed AEW during the first half of 2024, and in May of the aforementioned year, Page made his official NXT debut. Page has made an instant statement by attacking NXT champion Truck Williams, and based on this strong initial presentation, it's evident that WWE sees dollar signs when it comes to Page, and rightly so. Number 9. Mark Henry Upon signing Mark Henry, it was reported that Henry was going to be used by AEW as both a commentator and as a coach. This was fantastic news as Henry had decades of experience and had lived through the highs and lows of being a pro wrestler. Outside a few appearances on TV and delivering commentary for AEW Collision, Henry didn't seem to do anything substantial when it came to his run. Henry could have easily been used as a manager for a younger talent, but AEW were for some reason reluctant to put the former world champion on TV. The WWE Hall of Famer announced that he had parted ways with the company in May of 2024, and although Henry showed no signs of negativity towards his run in Tony Khan's promotion, the same can't be said for the fanbase, who collectively wondered why the respective run was so meaningless. Number 8. Andrade for the first few years of AEW's existence, most of the talent seemed happy to be wrestling for the promotion. However, as more top talent came into the fold, it became apparent that there weren't going to be prominent spots for everyone on the roster. One of the names that AEW struggled with how to book and present was Andrade. Although Andrade had some feuds with top AEW names such as Cody Rhodes, his booking fell completely flat, and AEW would go through a frustrating trend of giving Andrade a new manager seemingly every week. Andrade would often take shots at AEW on social media, and this was likely the only way Andrade felt he could address the problems with his booking. Ultimately, Andrade was allowed to leave the company, and he wasted no time whatsoever in re-signing with the WWE. Andrade has always had a strong and positive relationship with Triple H, so it was a foregone conclusion that whenever Andrade was allowed to leave AEW, he was going straight back to working under the game. Number 7. Keith Lee Keith Lee's AEW booking has been such a mess and it's not just the AEW fans that are calling out Tony Khan. In the summer of 2023, Lee was a hot topic on Busted Open Radio and Bully Ray nailed a consensus amongst the fan base regarding Lee's booking in the company. Lee had a long and documented history with health problems and it was reported early in 2024 that Lee was requiring surgery. This is possibly a factor in AEW failing to book Lee in any meaningful storylines and it'll be interesting to see if his booking improves when he eventually returns to AEW programming. Number 6. Jay White Jay White's AEW tenure got off to a strong start, as White would instantly be propelled into the main event picture. White had a questionable pay-per-view main event against MJF that seemed to split the fans right down the middle, and following the mixed reception, AEW decided to move White rather dramatically down the card. White currently finds himself in a trio with the guns, which is entertaining, yet it is a far cry from what White is capable of. He reportedly had the chance to sign with WWE, and seeing him wrestle names such as AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns could have been truly special. Now, this isn't to say that White's booking won't improve, as he's a reliable star that AEW could easily count on if they ever need a name in the main event picture. Number 5. Jake Hager When Jake Hager, aka Jack Swagger, signed with AEW, it gave the company another former WWE World Champion on their roster. Whilst Hager isn't exactly amongst the most elite former world champions ever, he is somewhat credible and could easily be used in a featured role if booked correctly. For the past few years, Hager has done literally nothing in the company. He has lingered at the side of Chris Jericho, and the only character development he's received has been him wearing a hat. This sheer laziness and incompetence from the AEW creative team, as there's no purpose having a former world champion under contract if you're just going to book and market him as a total laughing stock. Hager had just two featured matches in the year 2024 before it was confirmed online that he had departed the company in May. It's unclear what Hager's plans are, however, a company such as TNA would be smart and a sensible choice for Hager to spread his wings and finally be booked to wrestle. Number 4. Paul White In 2021, it was announced to the world that Paul White, aka The Big Show, had signed with AEW. The wrestling legend was being brought in to deliver commentary, and it was also confirmed that White would be wrestling from time to time. 
Similarly to Mark Henry, White brought decades of experience with him to AEW and should have in theory been a perfect fit for the locker room. When the AEW Dark Evolution show ceased to exist in 2023, so did White's commentary duties. He has wrestled just a handful of times for the promotion and the crazy thing is, White is undefeated in the company. That's right, White despite being semi-retired has won every single match he's competed in. The former WWE Champion could easily be used to elevate a younger star, but this isn't what AEW were doing with him. Number 3. Jade Cargill Jade Cargill was pushed to the moon during a run in AEW, yet this hindered her growth and success. Cargill needed time to develop and grow and due to AEW rushing things, it led to Cargill being greatly exposed and AEW eventually losing Cargill to WWE. If AEW had just been patient and paired Cargill with top names whilst allowing her to train in the background, they could have had a top female star that could carry the company for years to come. WWE have truly mastered the presentation of her as they didn't book her to take a single bump until they were satisfied with what she could deliver. When Cargill was eventually deemed ready for the main roster, she worked closely with key players such as Naomi, Asuka and Bianca Belair and this has given Cargill every chance in the world to succeed at the highest level. Number 2. Jeff Hardy Whilst Jeff Hardy was way past his prime in 2022, it was still seen as a smart signing when AEW signed the charismatic Enigma. Hardy was still immensely popular with the fans and a run alongside Matt Hardy would make perfect business sense. Unfortunately, Hardy's return has been a total dud. It's not completely AEW's fault as Hardy's in-ring work regressed considerably during his run and the matches he had alongside Matt Hardy simply weren't at the level fans wanted. Hardy is still a legend in the industry and one of the faults from AEW's side comes to their presentation of him. Hardy never felt special or unique, he just felt like a random guy on the roster with no aura or credibility. Hardy's brother Matt exited AEW in early 2024 and Jeff followed suit shortly after. Jeff now finds himself in TNA where he hopes he can turn his career trajectory around. And number 1. Wardlow If fans watched the first two years of AEW programming in isolation, it would be easy and fair to rule that Wardlow was going to become the biggest handmade star in the company. Wardlow had aura as a talent and he had unbelievable babyface star power when he eventually turned on his former friend MJF. Sadly, AEW butchered the booking of the feud between Wardlow and MJF and once the feud had come to a close, Wardlow's booking entered into a state of flux and it was evident that Tony Khan was clueless with what to do with him. Following time away from AEW TV, this has been an absence that wasn't remotely justified. Wardlow returned as a heel as part of the now infamous faction known as the Undisputed Kingdom. Wardlow's reasoning for now being a heel lacked any weight and it's hardly a surprise that Wardlow is indirectly bashing the company on a frequent basis. During an interview with Terrificon in 2023, Woodlow stated being left off TV made him depressed and the passionate love that the talented star for wrestling instantly came through. So I've been off TV for almost a couple of months and I've been very depressed. Wrestling is my everything, it makes me happy. So today I feel like me again for the first time in months. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for coming out because you guys really flip a switch in my mind and my heart that I needed, so thank you. But there you have it folks, 10 talents AEW completely wasted. Do you guys agree? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.